there are actually places where there's negative, where the power is uh, negative cost, hmm. where people will pay you to take the electricity. You know, that, that happens on um, solar and wind grids where uh, the sun is shining, the wind is blowing, and we're going to burn out the grid unless you take the power. Wow. Right? You see? Yeah. You know, and it happens if I'm flaring methane gas or if I'm flaring natural gas. The regulator says to you, if you don't actually use this, uh, if you don't cap the flare and use this, then you have to write off and close in the well. And then you take a $100 million write off. Mm. There's always going to be people that are going to want to mine Bitcoin. And they will. there will always be a market for Bitcoin equipment that's used. And you, you know, you want to be a doomsday or, well, okay, 10 years later, all the Bitcoin mining rigs all burn out. What happens? Well, what happens is the big semiconductor manufacturers like Bitmain already have the engineering specs. They will sell this equipment at a, at a variable margin of 3%, right? You know, what does it cost for a 386 chip, you know, or what does it cost for, for a 30 year old computer, right? At some point, you manufacture it for 5% of the original cost. It gets insanely cheap. Like they put, they put computer chips in greeting cards now, right? Mm -hmm. And so you're working your way down this manufacturing curve and this Moore's law. It's just like, the truth is guns are cheap. They're too cheap, right? You could buy a gun for $100, right? That, that works. Yeah. What you have here is a network defended by technology and the technology is a one-way function and the hardware is one-way investment. You can't unknow how to, you know, how to set off an explosive. You can't mm -hmm. unknow how to build an ASIC. But now that you know how to manufacture it and now that you own it, what can you do with it?